So here the uh, gas gauge is on full, and before I started dealing with this, uh, it would only go up to one half with the gas tank supposedly full, which means that it uh, shuts the pump off because there's not enough room for air to get out. But basically, right now, I've got the pump, or the uh, sender, just upside down, so it's down all the way, or up, because that would be a low tank and that would be a high tank, because that's the uh, very bottom part of it where it picks up. It doesn't have a pickup bag, it's just got a fuel filter up front, because there's no fuel pump. Uh, and there's my return for when I get a fancier carburetor. But basically, I looked at the tank and the tank isn't even full, so that probably has something to do with it. And also, these are not uh, notched, so you can put them in any way you want it. You can turn it any way. So, uh, here, let me get on the other side. So basically, you could have this thing, and this is sitting level, so there's like a incline here. So basically, you could have it to where this float is pointing to where it will float up to there, or you can have it to where it floats over here. There are notches as you can see, but it can actually go back and forth. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I think that the uh, notches or the uh, little tabs here can actually, the uh, actual metal of the gas tank is so thin that uh, it sits in that little gap in between the plate there. So I think that part of my reason is because this wasn't aiming the right direction. So I'm going to play around with it and just kind of eyeball it and kind of bend this arm into the shape I want it to be. Because I don't know if this thing's even belonging to this truck. And then also, uh, this filler neck is kind of busty because I broke it somehow when I took the bed off originally. So that's three quarters of a tank. And uh, that's my problem right there that I'm dealing with. Now that's more like it. Here's the hand bend I put in it somehow without breaking those little plastic tabs. But uh, just by eyeballing the level, the angle of the uh, top there with there and just looking at the uh, where the float would be. It looks about right now. It's not quite touching the top, but uh, I think it'll work. And uh, it did seem like it was hitting the side over there because of the weird stuff I'm doing to it. It's kind of making it longer, but it actually looks like it's just close, but not gonna actually matter. So I'm gonna go to the gas station and get some more gas and uh, see if it goes to full, and if it does, then I'll be happy, because I don't want to uh, deal with this rusty bed anymore. All right, so I put two and a half more gallons in it. So probably bend it back a little bit. Look at all this custom pipe bending work here. Cut and weld. Oh yeah. Bent it back up a little, now I'm gonna try it again. And this is like nine tenths of a tank. Nope, still needs to get bent up a little bit, a little bit too far. Got it on there with the ring now, and push that on there a little bit more.
No. Hey. That's closer. I think I want to bend it up a little bit more and then fill it up all the way. And then see if it's mass maxing out before the tank is actually all the way full. So I'm going to put some more gas in it while watching it to see uh, if it tops out before it starts spilling over. Because uh, it's designed to where it can go over past the F a little bit, but I want to have it on the F. Alright, so I'm happy with that. I'm sure the metal will straighten a little bit back out into its original shape and kind of fix it a little bit. Because I just now bent it, but... Yeah, that metal's really hard to bend. And then now I gotta take care of this, which is basically just the, uh, that part of the, where the hose clamp is on the filler neck is just destroyed. And I actually think, yeah, I might have, no, that's probably from, yeah, the teeth of the hose clamp were shown. I assume that I probably pulled it off a little bit, but I don't know if it's supposed to be over that little lip or not. But uh, I'm g probably just going to cut off some rubber and then get it on to some good hose. But yeah, that hose doesn't stretch very easy, so it's probably going to be a task. But I'll try. Alright, so I'm just going to cut the uh, filler neck. It's probably hard for you to see. But there's a, oh, there. there's a bunch of... Uh, weird stuff going on there so I'm just gonna cut that all off with some shears and uh, try to stretch it back on there that's what that looks like not bad and I guess I have to make sure I get this up on the top there just look at how much this thing warps So I put the bolts in and uh, the hose wouldn't reach, so I am taking the bolts back out uh, so that way I can slide it over that way and uh, hopefully I can get that on there and then just stretch it and then put the bolts in and it'll just be under tension until it uh, forms I guess. This is how much I cut off. and. Uh, not uh, best seal for sure. So there it is on there all the way and I tighten that hose clamp down as tight as I could get it with a screwdriver. I'll come back with a socket because that's one of those high quality stainless steel hose clamps or whatever and uh, I don't know how easy this is going to want to come back over here, but it's going to have to. And uh, I'm happy with that. So it pretty much doesn't leak at all. And it has a little bit of leak out the uh, center unit area. I don't know why. It's really pressing down hard on that gasket. But uh, yeah, I just got to get these bolts tightened back down with my impact and probably take it for a spin.